Welcome. We've been drink, drinking MMA. Um, we are uh, breaking down the San Hagen, um font fight card UFC on ESPN 50. This is the uh, fourth fight on the card here. Dustin Jacoby versus Kennedy and Jehu Hu. I think I got it right. That, that's good to me. That's pretty good. I'm I just going to go with Kennedy. I'm going with Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy versus Jacoby here. Here we go. Uh, and uh, I'm going Kennedy. I think it's going to be a landslide lock victory here. He's minus 165. Kennedy is uh, favorite, $165. That's really surprising. Put your money in right now. I'm going Kennedy as well, picking Kennedy. He's got a seven inch reach advantage. Is this two different, like, uh, I wanted to say, like, Jacob E is, like, not a UFC fighter, but, like, Kennedy is like, just on a different wavelength. It, it just – maybe I'm wrong about this, but, no. like, I just I mean, think there's, like, a different tier of striking that's going to be coming in this fight. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, Like, Kennedy's going to be coming for the win, and Dustin's going to be, like – testing range and like yeah. um like uh, i'm gonna give my after a couple of volume strikes i'm gonna get my big shot at, i don't think that's gonna be i don't think that's the way to win in this fight like it's I, one of those fights where i think jacoby has got a right hand right straight straight right hand that's like his weapon yes his leg kicks are leg kicks are really good his leg kicks used to be really good uh last two fights though he's not been throwing them like he used to he could be going through injuries you don't you never know um but at the same time, two fights in a row, you know, he's uh, his leg kicks are, are not as confident. His punch is not confident, really, in punching. The straight right is here and there. You know, it's you know against Roundtree two fights ago, he uh, wasn't throwing enough. In his last fight um, against uh, Mirzakhanov, who Mirzakhanov is undefeated, but Jacoby just did not have a good performance, man. Like, he wasn't throwing enough strikes. Um, his strikes when he did throw were, 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 in my opinion, just not up to par. And uh, Kennedy, on the other hand, is uh, on the rise, we think. Kennedy's a uh, different mean, wavelength than striking. And, it, and the proof is... goes for the win. The proof, the proof is is that, you know, what's his name? Uh, Jacoby is on a two-fight losing streak. Kennedy's on a three-fight win streak. Yes. I think and the only... My, and I believe with, they are all, like, finishes. Yeah, submission, KO, KO. Yeah. Against respectable, really, really, really good fighters, high level. Ian Kudalaba two fights ago with a KO with a flying knee and punches uh, against the fence in the second round, and then Devin Clark submitted him in the second round, which is not yeah. not easy to submit not Devin easy, Clark, dude. man. No, he's really tough. good on the ground, smart fighter, Devin Clark. And uh, I think the reason they made this fight, and uh, we're kind of getting it for a steal, is because um, Jacoby knocked out a guy named uh, Jung Dawoon Jung three or. Uh, Three fights ago, and Kennedy got uh, knocked out, KO'd by uh, De- Da Woon Jung about five fights ago, back in 2021. So that's kind of the intriguing thing is, is that you know Jacoby knocked out the guy that knocked out Kennedy. However, it was five fights ago, um, you know, and uh, you know it, it, it happens. And and uh, Kennedy is now just on 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 a on a rise, on a tear. Um, his striking he, again. It's one of those fighters where Jacoby has the the one right hand really that's his weapon, and Kennedy has both hands. He's got knees, kicks, yeah. you know. And I I usually like to favor the guy. His who kicks can, or his knees are in, like mm-hmm. you just don't see him coming. Yeah, and I like a guy I like a guy who can uh, a fighter who can fight with both hands. Yes, that's huge in a fight that you're not sure about. Though usually that's the you fighter don't know who where wins. it's going to come from. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh man, his left or his right, they're both good. Okay, then that that's usually the guy in a fight where you're not sure about who's going to win the fight. A guy who can is fight with both both arms. So, I think uh, Kennedy first round is not unreasonable. Think here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Kennedy by KO in the first. I think if I can get a good price on that, he's minus one sixty five. So. Any way you want him, Kennedy's a great bet here. Kennedy straight up on the money line. Kennedy by KO. Uh, Kennedy by KO in the first. I mean, if it's paying enough. But does Jacob P is a tough guy, so it wouldn't yeah. be unreasonable to be like Kennedy just to win in general. Yeah. We, because Dustin does not get taken out that much. So offensively, we're giving a, a huge edge to Ke- Kennedy. The problem is defensively, even that, where Jacoby used to be good with distance control, again, two fights ago, it wasn't as good. One fight ago, I mean, the, his last fight against Merzaganov, I feel like he was getting hit by a lot of little punches um, and just stuff where he should have been out of the way and he just wasn't reacting quick enough. And I just feel like his defense just isn't isn't up to par anymore either. So defensively, I think uh, Kennedy is even better than him right now as far as distance control. Uh, on top of that, yeah, Kennedy's finish rate is unbelievable. Other than his first two fights in 2017 where he went to decision, other than those two first fights, 
uh, all of his wins are by finish and only one decision. Um, so he's he's a finish machine, uh, and he finishes in different ways. It's not just one style of finishing. Ken- Kennedy inside the distance is not unreasonable. No, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, inside the distance makes a lot of sense in general for this fight, just because it's like, well, maybe Jacoby has a style, and if he does, then he can maybe knock Take out. Take advantage Kennedy. of that style. Yeah, maybe he does do something. So maybe inside the distance, you know. So does Jacoby have any shot to win this fight? Like any shot? I mean, the only know? shot is is that the history that he knocked out the guy that knocked out Kennedy. So maybe for that reason, you just end up betting. He studies that Ung fight, like yeah. what what made him get knocked out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. And, uh, you know, Jacoby and, and, and Da Wun Jung, or, you know, they have the punches, punch power. So maybe maybe that's where Jacoby thinks that he can kind of just emulate that, that the way that uh, Jung knocked out Kennedy. But I think Kennedy is really smart with the distance control. I think Kennedy can knock you out in different ways from flying knees to, you know, punches. And in his last fight against Devin Clark, he submitted him. He decided, okay, um, Devin Clark wants to fight near the fence. I'll take him to the fence, and I'll just elbow and put my forearm, you know, throw my forearm on his head and just beat Devin Clark a lot, but beat him up good against the fence with those elbows and forearms and yeah. just throwing anything that was landing. And then he eventually got him down and uh, submitted him. You know, His IQ is... Yeah, able to get different up. from it, other players. Even if Jacoby fighters. gets, let's say, get a takedown, Kennedy's actually really gotten better at, at, at uh, creating space and getting up off the ground, like he showed against Devin Clark. So there's just so many ways for uh, Kennedy to win. The confidence, you know, just all the different, uh, you know, strikes in his arsenal. The the distance control is better than Jacoby. I think he he kind of has it all over Jacoby. And if, like we're saying, Kennedy's on the rise. Jacoby's not is on a two fight losing streak. So, so Kennedy for the win. Kennedy for the win. <laughs>